Jesus went out to Capernaum to a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean, of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out, they come out. and news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Our Lady, Seat of Wisdom, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today in the liturgy, we uh, honor St. Beatrice de Silva, St. Beatrice, uh, had been in the assert, had been uh, uh, had had served in the court of Isabel and Ferdinand of Spain, and there was a another uh, individual that served in the court that was uh, very jealous of Beatrice, and she arranged to have Beatrice locked in a chest, and she was locked in that uh, that wooden chest for several days until someone finally discovered she was in there and uh, relieved her. And of course, soon after that, she realized the emptiness and vanity of this world and, and left uh, the service of the court of Ferdinand and Isabel. And she went to Toledo where she was inspired to find found a religious order uh, uh, called the Immaculatines. This order uh, would, is a branch of the poor Clares uh, which is dedicated uh, to the Immaculate Conception, to Our Lady under her title, the Immaculate Conception, uh, a contemplative order uh, of nuns. And uh, of course, it's, it's from this order that uh, Venerable Maria Vigretta eventually joined, who was, uh, we have that beautiful work, The City of God, in which Our Lady revealed to her her, her, uh, her, her life. Uh, it's the same order that was founded by St. Beatrice de Silva. And, uh, and what we're reminded of in this is that Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, is the one who crushes the head of the serpent. And we see, as we are reminded, uh, the turmoil that we see in the world is a battle against the serpent, uh, the devil. And it is Our Lady who is the one who will crush his head, who crushes his head. And that we need to be ever armed with that great weapon of the rosary and praying uh, for for, for this evil to come to an end. I was listening to the, uh, when I went over to St. John's the other day to our, our radio station, and there was a powerful story which, uh, which reminds me of, of uh, the importance of the rosary in which a, a bishop of Nigeria, where the Boko Haram Islamic terrorists were, were, were causing so much harm to people and where the 300 girls had been kidnapped, had a vision of Jesus, and Jesus appeared to him and handed him a sword. And when he took the sword, uh, it turned into a rosary. And Jesus said to this bishop of, of, in Nigeria that the rosary will rid, your, will rid Nigeria, will rid your area of, of Boko Haram, the Islamic terrorist. And so the bishop spread the news to pray the rosary and to, uh, to have the people pray the rosary. And that region has been freed. They, they've they left the Islamic terrorist. And we have, of course, so many stories of the power of the rosary. As Padre Pio told us, the rosary is the weapon and that we need to be united and pray in the rosary in the evils we see happening and unfolding in our country and the world because it is only through Our Lady that that, that this that this evil will be, will be vanquished. As she said at Fatima, Tell the people to pray the rosary for the end of the war. 
because only Our Lady the Rosary can end the war, that Our Lady alone has that power to bring an end to all the terrors, the evils that we see happening in our society and in our world, and that we need to be united and pray in that rosary with ever greater confidence in her motherly intercession to help us to bring our, our, our nation and our world uh, back, back to Jesus Christ, her Son. May St. Beatrice pray for us for a renewed devotion and the Immaculate Conception, remembering that it is she alone who crushes the head of the serpent. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 